Uh, this past weekend at Chicago's <laughs> Midway Airport, there was a security line that was 1.2 miles long. Oh, my goodness. That's Wait, what did you say? 1.2 miles long. To get through security. Oh, point. no. I would have gone home. Flight <laughs> canceled. No. It created a lot of panic. Uh, so if you have no. some flights coming up in a couple weeks for the remainder of the holidays, you may want to download this app. It's called the My TSA app. You may have heard about it uh, before. Uh, we've talked about it in previous years, but they continue to update it. It's a free app that shows security checkpoint wait times at various airports, the information is crowdsourced, so it's not precise, but it'll still help you figure out the best time to arrive or whether there's one security gate that's better to use than another. And Keep is a good example of this. She doesn't really know <laughs> when to go to the airport. Sometimes she shows up two hours before, sometimes... Jeff took before. me to the airport on Wednesday, and everyone here told mm -hmm. me I needed to get there two hours ahead. I got there <laughs> probably about an hour and a half ahead. Mm -hmm. Plenty of time. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody there. was there at SAC International. <laughs> Even the people at the gate were like, we don't know where everybody is. Yeah. Nobody. It must have cleared out that half hour before she got there. Huh? Oh, it my must have. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> did, you guys watch, uh, did you guys watch any football over the weekend? Yeah. Dan, you in particular? Just a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. A little bit of the Raiders game. Oh, that mm, was Not that one. No. <laughs> Oh, okay, you tuned out. Well, uh, this guy watched the game too, uh, at least his game, the Titans-Texans, but he did it 266 miles above the Earth. Ah. Look at this. This is uh, an astronaut on board the International Space Station. He's a huge Titans fan. His name is Barry Wilmore. He's a Navy captain. He's a Tennessee resident, and he asked NASA to make this happen, to make it so they could link the game to the International Space Station and they made it they made it work so and the uh, nfl let that happen even though he's not a <laughs> ticket subscriber can you believe that Gee. right uh and i'm sure future astronauts will appreciate what this nfl fan pioneer we can call him achieved you know because uh you know future astronauts will be able to watch their games you'd think sure amazing um, technology yeah and i i, I can speak it. from experience it's really frustrating being a fan of a team in another state you know well, when you know. don't have the right uh cable subscription um, it has to, to be a satellite. Direct TV is the yeah, only one that exactly. gives it to you. And That's you the only to option. Pay for oh, that yeah. whole lot. Considerably. You know, yesterday you weren't here, but we talked a lot about the movie Frozen because these videos are popping up on YouTube. Uh, and also there's a, a, a Frozen themed uh, Christmas light display in, in Virginia that was like really cool. Like the Bills one. Oh, okay. Very yeah. similar. Okay. But uh, I didn't get to this yesterday. Here it is. It's a, it's a dog that also loves one of the songs from the movie. <laughs> Loves it or hates it, Jeff? Loves it. The, the dog was asleep in the car and woke up when they started playing the song. Uh, we're out it. of time. Come back and see us. News to the day at 11. Don't let them in. Don't let them see you.